The Senate Blue Ribbon Committee has made public rehabilitation SAR Pantulo Lawson's copy of the Nepalis list containing the names of individuals linked to the pork barrel scam. The former senator submitted the list to the committee today. Sam Ramirez filed this report. The list is out. Rehabilitation czar Panfilo Lacson submitted a copy of the draft affidavit of Janet Limnapolis, along with a narration of events and list of lawmakers and other government officials who allegedly had anomalous Limnapolis in connection with their Priority Development Assistance Fund or PDAF. The list includes 10 incumbent senators, namely Bong Revilla Jr., Jingoy Estrada, Juan Ponce Enrile, Vicente Soto, Loren Legarda, Coco Pimentel, Alan Peter Cayetano, Gringo Honasan, Francis Cheese Escudero, and J.V. Ejercito. The two former senators are Manny Villar and deceased Robert Barbers. The list also includes 67 incumbent and former congressmen and women, including Mikey Arroyo, son of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, then Sibac Party List Representative, and now Testa Director General Joel Villanueva, former Congressman Isidro Ungab, incumbent Congressman Reynaldo Umali. It also includes former Bureau of Customs Commissioner Rufi Biazon, the late Congressman Iggy Arroyo, who's also a brother-in-law of former President GMA. The list also includes father and son tandem Nasser and Hussein Pagandangan, among others. Agriculture Secretary Proceso Alcala is also on the list, along with Budget and Management Secretary Butch Abad. The list also includes former cabinet officials from the Department of Agriculture, Department of Agrarian Reform, and officials from government-owned and controlled offices, such as the National Livelihood and Development Corporation, Technology Resource Center, and National Agribusiness Corporation. When interviewed before the list was revealed, several senators denied dealing or even meeting Napoles. Hindi natin kilala yung mga NGO nila. Minsan hindi ko alam yung mga pangalan na yun. Tarungin nyo sa akin ngayon ni isa. Hindi natin maalala. Paano mo tinan kang kaibigan eh? Tatawagan hindi. Hindi ko alam yung hindi ganun. At least offered their business. Ah, hindi. Hindi, hindi. Ah, hindi naman. Hindi ganun. Hindi ganun. Wala ako inallocate maski na piso, na pidaf o anumang pondo sa NGO ni Napoles. Wala rin akong pinakinabangan mula sa kanya. Ang motibo ni uh, Ms. Napoles, simple. She wants to launch a weapon of mass destruction and destruction. Distract, para ma-distract, ma-confuse, ma-iba yung usapan. Uh, destroy or destruction para ma-destroy mga kalaban niya. The draft affidavit of Napoles only covers the personalities with pending cases against them. Napolis hinted that there are more lawmakers and government officials involved in the misuse of PDAF. She's also willing to testify about the others if and when they are charged with the corresponding cases. People's Television, Sam Ramirez.